Hello everybody, Thomas Locus here and welcome back to the railway and welcome to another review. Today I'm reviewing a mainline locomotive and that is this, the mainline rail freight class 56. Now I don't own this one, this comes from a friend of mine uh, who gave this to me to fix because they said that uh, it wasn't working whatsoever, it wouldn't move or anything else. So I have gone through all the working parts, cleaned everything that needs to be cleaned and well it's uh, moved. Uh, obviously it needed a lot of help so I needed to push it along and it still um, cut out all sorts. And then I decided to run it with a low level loco to get just to get it um, running sort of a bit smoother. That worked, it got to the point where it was running on its own, but ever so often they cut out depending where it is. And then I decided to just run it in constantly. And that seemed to have worked, it sort of got faster, got better on its wheels. And then I decided to do some load of tress runs, it seemed to be doing quite well with those. And then I put a longer uh, load of tress runs on it. And then all of a sudden it stutters and then burst into its original self. So, without that, I probably would not be doing this review, otherwise I would just be sending it back to the owner of this. But, here it is. It's back to its normal self, and I can do a review of it. So, without any further ado, let's get on with the review of the Mainline Rail Freight Class 56. Okay, so there is the Mainline Rail Freight Class 56 up against the white right background. And for Mainline Loco, this has actually quite nice livery and detail on it. So, starting from this end, now that obviously you can see you've got some quite good detail. You've got a separately fitted uh, metal bars, which just put the camera down very nicely. Hang on. So, you've got it here. You've got several fitted bars, uh, or handrails, uh, along the top here and on the sides here. Uh, they got vacuum brake over here by the looks of it. And good light, light detail, got warning signs on here. And they also got, I think they're plus all lights on there. Yes. Now, a big thing you, you can notice is it's only got one buffer on each end. Uh, the other buffer probably fell off um, before, well, when I got it. Uh, there was no buffer on it, so I think it's just a case of the owner has to uh, find some spare buffers, or they have the spare buffers which have fallen off somewhere along the line. Uh, 56064 is is quite uh, clearly written there, which is quite nice. Going along the side of the locomotive, uh, I've just got the nice uh, large logo of the British Railways uh, symbol, and then uh, I think that, I don't know what that, that uh, symbol there is. Um, yeah, rail freight symbol, maybe? If you know what it is, put down in the comments. And you've got some more warning signs along there. Uh, Bogies on this side, quite heavily detailed, obviously no colouring at this sort of time, but I have to say there's a lot of detail you can, you can really well see there, uh, as well as the middle section. Oh, that will sink. There we go. Uh, looking on the top, on the roof, a lot of detail on the top. Uh, got some grills there, etched grills. Nope, just, uh, you obviously can't see through the grills. It's just uh, quite good detailing. And then obviously the burgers on the other side. Then you got the rail freight symbol over there, all grills on the other side. Uh, yes, it's looking quite a nice logo. Yeah. Then on this end, you also got the separate for the handrails still there. And then I think this is the end with the drivers in. Yeah, you can just see the drivers in there. Got one there, got one on the other end as well. It's quite nice to have some drivers in there. Really nice. Yep, so overall, this loco is really good. But obviously, well, for detail that is, but obviously, we need to check out what the performance is like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on the truck in front of you, which is just here, and then I shall test it out to see how well it is. Uh, well, obviously I already know how well it is, uh, but you don't yet. So let's go and find out. 
Okay, so there is the class 56 down onto the track and ready for its first video run. So without any further ado, let's get it started and see what happens. Nice. Direction as well. Yeah, you've got Ringful Motor style and sound to it. It's a bit noisy, but uh, it's what you would expect from a uh, mainline loco, because this from like the 1980s, is it? 80s and 90s, at some point, between that point. Uh, we're good. So far, so good. It's been pretty awesome. Yeah, right. Well, I'm going to come through at full speed. Get it over to this point here. And come through at full speed. Wow. Yeah, quite everything. And uh, just before I did, I, I did this running session, it's all sputting around, but I think it's a case of uh, I haven't run it for a while and the engine's got quite cool, so it sort of uh, didn't, yeah, it sort of came out of its spirit, but I, uh, it's fine now, it's just warmed up a little bit more. Uh, so how's the slow speed? And yeah, it's shaking that way. Oh, that way. Yeah. It's quite good slow speed. Ooh. That's quite good for mainline. Yeah, that's quite good. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Right. So I think that's enough sort of running back and forth. With the uh, mainline class 56, number 56064. Right, time for it to go and uh, move on to the next stage, uh, which is the running session part, which is almost my, always my favourite part. I just, I just love it to see the uh, all the locals running around together. Um, so, without further ado, let's go and uh, take it over to its train and then get it running. Uh, when it's sort of lo loaded to test run, I guess. But um, yeah, there we go. Alright, so there are some wagons for the 3556. So I'll bring it in now. And then we plug it. Let's see if we can do a slow coupling up to it. Lovely. I'll just bring the locomotive back. About there, right in forward position. So I've got the drivers facing outwards, so um, it shouldn't be confusing. The drivers don't, well, don't be going backwards or anything like that. But for now, let's get it running. Lovely. So with the class, with the class of six running around. Now, quite happily, it's time to get a, another local, the next local going, which is my EWS Class 36, 56117 from Hornby. So I will get this one going, and it's got like a, a big, little mixed uh, train of box fans and some uh, generators as well. What's wrong with you? Go, 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 kiss and run. Sure, yeah. Ah, here's, here's a good one for me. Right. Guys. Right then, so the other locomotive I am running today is the Class 37. As a person that owns the Rail Throat Class 36, does love facing a 4. So, without further ado, let's get it going. Uh, I have to be very careful this one. Very fast, so it's a really test of slow. So, there we go. And we've got some tankers with that today. So, enjoy this running session.
Right then, so after a, a brilliant running session, that is all I've got time for today. And that is, which means that it's the end of the video. So, the locos that you've seen today, the Class 37 Face of A84 Cepheus, 56117 in the EWS livery, which is my 56, and the Star of the Show 56064 in the Rail Freight Grey livery. Which is quite nice. I have to say, this, this 56 has just improved so well since I got it two days ago to repair it. And two days later, here it is in the flesh, uh, running really well. Yeah. Really happy with this. So, anyway, with that, that is all I got time for today. If you enjoy this video, do like and subscribe to keep the channel going, and also leave a comment. Uh, and I will answer it for um, eventually because uh, for some reason I don't get comment notifications in the moment I don't know why that is but uh, anyway so yeah that's all, that's all I've got time for today and yeah I basically I've covered everything so with that I thank you all very much for watching and I shall see you all next time for some more reviews or well, boxing reviews but this is just a review right goodbye everyone